It's a combination of threats that the EU is facing today. We cannot select them as we want. And it includes health security, as we see these days every day. It includes disinformation, cyber attacks. It includes military threats as well, climate change, uh, of course. So it's a continuum of threats. COVID-19 showed us how unprepared we are, generally, also countries in Europe, but also in the world, to face unexpected crises and to face unexpected challenges. Because it wasn't just a pandemic, a health crisis that came over all of us, but it was also a cyber pandemic, for example. This is what some researchers called it, because the number of cyber attacks and cyber offensive activity has increased a lot. Some estimates show that if cybercrime would be a country by the size of its economy, it would be the third biggest country in the world. I think the COVID-19 pandemic showed us how interconnected all of these threats are, how you cannot just address climate change by itself, for example, because climate change will bring with it displacement, it will bring humanitarian needs, it will bring conflict because of resource competition. So it will bring all different security elements that then kind of overlap and that then lead to disinformation, that lead to terrorism and that lead to ultimately loss of life. The EU does things from democracy promotion to development and humanitarian aid to even training the military to assisting with health security. So the EU has instruments to deal with a wide range of security issues, both at home in the EU, but also abroad. If you look at the EPRS's yearly Normandy Peace Index, you will see that the European Union in 2021 is classified as number 12 on the list of most peaceful regions in the world. If we look at purely military spending, which is not as part of the EU budget, because the EU treaties do not allow military spending, but if we calculate how much EU countries spend on defense and military together, it's about 190 billion euros per year. And that is about the GDP of Portugal. it's becoming obvious to everyone that no single country can handle by itself all these multitude of threats that we are facing, but we need a European, a joint approach. When we are at the EU level, we are much stronger than when we are individual countries alone.